Hi and welcome again to DigitalCameraTutorials.com We've come to the last tutorial in the series on Photo Story 3. So we're going to open up Photo Story 3 and what we're going to do now is to edit a project that we've done, the one on, on the Rome holiday and we're going to add sounds to this now. So we edit a project and we go next. Rome project is the one we want and it opens up fairly quickly and what we've done so far is we have imported our six pictures we have added text to each of the six pictures we have gone on to customize the transitions which we found under motion and transitions and so I close that up and now finally we're going to come to the stage where we're putting sounds on so there are three ways that we can put sounds on a movie we can select our own music we can create music or we can put a voice narration. Now here is the record narration button. So let's say I wanted to narrate and say we arrived in Rome and so on. So I'm going to uh, narrate a piece for this uh, text first of all. So I'm going to just click record. We arrived to Rome in July. And it adds that here. So I can preview that and we'll just listen to see what that sounds like. It obviously has to repair it. Preparing the preview. We arrived to Rome in July. Now that's the only one that I have text on so it will just continue as normal and so on. There. Okay so that's fine. So we could add that or we can undo that narration. If I just click the delete narration button here it will take that away. Are you sure you want to delete it? And I say yes. So I go back to the way I was. So if you want just pure voice narration this is the way that you're going to do it. You'll have to do it individually for each of the photos. So you click on a photo, add your voice narration and the photo will stay going for as long as your narration is. If your narration is 10 seconds it'll hold the photo there for the full 10 seconds. And then you would go to your next one and add your voice narration to that. Okay, so we may want to do a voice narration. That's how we do that. Next, you may want to select music. So what you would do there is you select music and you'd go to your My Music folder and you'd select some piece of music and open that and it adds that on here. Again, we could preview that. The problem with adding your own music is that it will just come to a dead stop halfway through the um, the piece of music that you've selected and it may not come to a nice end. So what we'll do is we'll go back, that will remove that and we'll go forward again. Sorry, I want to d delete this, uh, this piece of music. So delete that music. Instead, create music is a much better option. Now, Photo Story offers you a selection, a huge selection of music. So it has a whole lot of genres here, classical, country, dance, funk, jazz, and so on. You can scroll down through all of those. I generally leave it at all. And then we can scroll down through all the classical ones, all the country ones, and so on. And when you go to the bottom there, it gives me an option for world music from China, Germany, Italy, India and so on. So I'm going to, because I was in Rome, I'm going to select the Italy version. Traditional Italian music and we'll take a happy version of it. Now, it also offers you slow tempo and varying intensities. So I'm going to go with a slow tempo first of all. So I bring the slider back and we'll preview that by pressing play. And you can see that is quite slow. So let's see what the medium speed would be like. Okay, and we could try the top speed and see what that would be like. And it offers you different versions of it, legendary, let's see what that would be like. Okay, and we could try the bittersweet version. So I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to take a slightly faster tempo. I'm going to use the bittersweet traditional world Italy music and I go OK. Now 
I have unfortunately selected one piece, one photo for that. So it has only put it above that photo. So I need to delete that music, deselect the photo, and put it at the first photo. And now we'll go to create music, and we have to go through that process again. So I'm going to go back down to Italy, traditional, bittersweet, and fairly fast, and go OK. Now it puts it from the photo that I selected the whole way to the end. The first time I had selected only one photo and it only just put the music above that. So now let's preview what that looks like. Now as you can see the music it really adds to the effect of the photos. most interesting part is listen out for how the music ends. It comes to a natural end which is fantastic. The way the photo story organizes it, it ends the music at a natural uh, tempo as opposed to if you were to select your own music it wouldn't come to a natural end. You'd be cutting it off halfway through. So we close that up. We're happy with our new music and we go next. Again it gives us the options how do we want to save it. You have the various formats here. For playback on your computer it gives you the best quality if you were sending it uh, on a phone or something like that the quality would be much much less but generally we want to select the save it for playback on your computer. We need to browse. Now we've got the Rome holiday with text, with transitions, with motion and we need to, to have the Rome holiday and this is the one with music and we'll save it and we go to next it goes through the process now it has four different sections to save it has the text it has the transitions it has the motion and now it has the music so it has to prepare and go through all of this so it's first of all it's adding the music this is going to be the longest part of it um, because the music is, is complex enough and is difficult to add so that's the slowest part once it gets through this, it'll zip through the rest of it because it has done it already. <coughs> so it's adding the World Italy customized music. Yes, so that's step two finished. Now comes to step three. And uh, it's mixing the audio. This will come in very, very quickly, as you can see. And then finally it generates the movie, which is quite quick. It, it, it runs through the six photos with its text and transitions and everything very quickly. That leaves us then with the final finished version. And it'll ask us, do you want to view your story? So let's have a quick look at what that would look like. So it's exactly as we saw in the preview. So we'll close that up, that's fine. And it's now saved and we can exit from that. It's going to ask me do I want to update the project so I'll say yes, let's save the project. It will still call it Rome project with all the new changes so it saves that. It tells me we're going to overwrite the well, existing version. I'm happy enough to overwrite it and that finishes that. The final thing that we want to do is to go to start and pictures and have a look at the different sizes. So we'll go into the camera phone and we'll go into Rome and we now have the various ones. So the first project with just the photos and uh, their own motion was 125, 1.25 megabytes. We then added in the text, which removed the transition or the motion, which brought it down to less than a megabyte. Then we put in our motion, that brought it up to 2.15 megabytes. Then we put in our transitions, and that didn't make any change, still 2.15 meg megabytes. And now we've added in our music, and that has only brought it up to 2.42 megabytes in size. So really, the finished product, with its motion, its music, and everything, is still very, very emailable. 2.42 megabytes, as long as you're under 4 megabytes for emailing along broadband, there shouldn't be any problem. It'll come through fairly quickly. And that's a very, very entertaining um, slideshow with music and everything already done. DigitalCameraTutorials.com